coming at you with some shocking news. Everything I'm about to tell you is 100% true. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Let them know who the fuck I am. If you're over your head, you won't understand. I got another plan. If all else fails, prevail. I'm gone, but I'm sticking in the cut, never signing off. Little bit of fame in the finest broads. You hypnotized, now you live in a lie. Selling your soul for the enterprise. I'm finna blow like a lamb. I slowly haters all strangers now that y'all know me. OG smoking on that strong, contemplating suicide over lies they told me. What's up? Well, good morning. Top of the morning to you. Hey, hey, hey. All right, well, let's get at it. Well, this morning, um, well, yesterday, I made a video, but I decided to scrap it and remake it because I got a lot more, I, I got a lot more thought into it and it was another video that I seen yesterday while I was posted up at my uh, at my shipper that I want to include in my thought. I want to I want to talk about what's what's been going on in the trucking world and the, on the internet. Now, a couple of days ago, uh, you know. A video feed came through my uh, came to my YouTube feed. Now let me before I get into it. Let me first say that it's not a knock about the two guys that I'm about to talk about. Um, as a YouTuber myself, you know I, I put you know content out there about things that I do. That's what I do, and I, I and yes, I am subject to criticism. You know what I'm saying, and that's not a problem. You know, constructive criticism is good, you know. But I wouldn't be talking about this guy if he hadn't put it out there already to be talked about. And the other guy that I'm about to talk about, you know, he's he's a former employee and he made a, he made a comment. Well not a comment, he made a video about his about how he feel about the guy i was you know going through my feed i was going through my feed and 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 one of the videos that popped up is a video from a guy named mac easel i'm not sure if his last name but you guys may know him as little guy he has a channel called the little guy show from what I understand, because you know, I had to go back and do my homework on this guy to, to make sure that what I'm saying is lightweight accurate. So I had to go back and do my homework. So this guy got 30, 30 plus subscribe, 30,000 plus subscribers. Uh, he's been on YouTube for, for a good while, for a good while. He found this niche, so that makes him an interesting YouTube and that's what you got to that's what you got to find on YouTube in order to be popular you gotta find you gotta have a niche his niche pretty much was to be silly you know to be a silly truck driver all right you know he's the one that does the funny faces and uh, and uh, and the yeah and all like that you know so he found this niche and that's how he found and generated all his subscribers and he got everybody to follow him. Now, I didn't subscribe to him. I the, His video feeds only come through my feeds because I'm subscribed to a lot of other tr uh, truck drivers. Little guy, you know, I, I think he started with, uh, he started with Warner. He moved on to Raven, he moved on to Prime. He moved on to Knight or Swift. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. He moved on to a company called Traveloco. Now I haven't heard of Traveloco until uh, he mentioned it in his video. You know, he went, he went owner operator. 
Now, in the beginning of his videos, you know, it was, it's, it was pretty cool. You know, he was doing this, you know, he was doing the stuff about how to do this, how to do that, what to do, and all that other good stuff. He had, uh, he had collaborations with, uh, with a couple of other truckers. Uh, like I said, he been in the, he been in the game for a, quite a while. So, but in the first few videos that I seen, you know, it's, st he started, he started job jumping. You know what I'm saying? Know that you got opportunities with another company. That's what you're supposed to do. If you get the opportunity, and it's and it's and it's a rise and it's a good opportunity for you and your family by all means take it you know you guys always know that i always say try not to job jump in the first year of 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 your trucking career try to try to rock it out you know first year is going to be rocky first year you're not going to make no money you know first year is all about getting your mouths out here now the second year is now, the second year is with the same company. The second year is a building phase. Now you're trying to build your loyalty. You know, the loyalty that the company's trying to give to you and you trying to give to that company, all right? And then the third year and the years after that, it's pretty much, it's, it's pretty much write your own check to every whatever company you want to work at. But, I'm not sure how long he's been with uh, Warner. I think he was only with Warner for maybe less than a year or something like that. And then he went with Raven Transport. Then in a few videos while he was with Raven Transport, he was bad-mouthing Warner. Now let me tell you guys something. That's another thing that you don't want to do, man. You don't want to you don't want to bad-mouth your company on social media. But he was with Raven, he was bad-mouthing Warner. And that's what you don't want to do. And like I said, the guy's entertaining. You know what I'm saying? You know, the guy's entertaining. Now I'm not, you know, I don't I don't watch all his videos, but it, it, he is entertaining. But in order for me to do this video right here, I went back and watched a few videos. You know, he did a couple of how-to videos and all like that. And he was, and in the beginning, he was he was real genuine about the trucking industry. He went from night to start owner operator or lease operator with this company called Travel Loco. Now, as I said before, I'm not hip to Travel Loco. Um, from what I understand, they take about 80% of whatever you do. You know, they it's a contract about 80%. All right, that's a lot of money. You know, for one company to the split with one company so you're doing you're doing the 80 20 split mm, i don't know about that but anyway he um he got he got a truck and that truck that he got broke down and he made several videos about that truck being broken down now that's when i became a little bit interested in it because i wanted Wanted to know what's going on, but he's on he's on his channel crying the blues again, talking about I'm not working. The trust broke down. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, my family needs to be fed. Blah blah blah. And you know everybody started feeling sorry for this guy. So his best friend, Little Dog, started a a, a GoFundMe or a uh, or. Uh, a donation thing, a, a sort of call to action for his friend, all right? Now, everybody started donating to this guy. That's a good thing. Everybody started donating to him, man. He was getting, he was getting lots and lots of donations. I was on the fence about donating to the cat because I'm like this. I'm not gonna come and e-beg for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna eat bad for nothing. I'm gonna get up and get off my ass and grind to get something while my truck is in the shop for months on end. You know, he could have got a local job. He could have got, he could have drove Uber. You know what I'm saying? Could have drove Uber for a little bit. Could have, could have got a local job. Or something. I don't know. You know, this is back in Ohio, so there's something. There, there's something. Uh, that he could have did back in Ohio. 
Now, everybody donated to him, make sure that he was good. His PayPal account is a little bit fat now. He's getting, he's getting all kinds of money from all kinds of people, all right? Now, a video later, he's back in a new truck. Travel Loco gave him a new truck. I think they gave him two of them. So he was looking for somebody to drive the other truck. But, come to find out, he was behind in his payments. Now let me tell you guys something about leasing, all right? Yeah, the company will tell you the good, the bad, I mean the good part about leasing. Oh, well, with leasing you get your own truck, it won't be governed, it, well it'll be governed, it'll probably be governed at a little bit faster than the company truck. You get a nice clean Volvo, uh, you get to choose your own, your own loads, you get a dollar to a dollar fifty per mile, and we, and we guarantee your miles and blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, but what they fail to tell you is, what they fail to tell you is, is that if you don't work, they still taking that payment out on that check. You see what I'm saying? These trucks is going for like eight, nine hundred a month. I mean, not a month, but eight, nine hundred a week. All right. Not only that, that they're taking out their payments for the truck. They taking out their payments for the maintenance and whatever else under the contract that you got. So if you don't work, let's say if you take three days off, four days off, or you got an appointment or, or something happened, like his truck being broke down, for example, just because that truck was broke down, he still had to make payments on it. So if he's not driving, think about it. If he's not driving, how's that payments getting made? It's not, it's being racked up racked up racked up racked up and that's what he probably didn't tell you guys you know there's probably a little bit more to it to where he's at right now he made a he made a thank you video to everybody that that gave him money now that he's back driving he made a video called moving day or something like that so he uprooted his family and moved down to florida after he moved down to florida he made a he made a video called Done with trucking. And I'm sitting there like, huh, what happened? You know, what, what's going on? Well, he came out with a video. He said he's done with trucking. And he said that he's done with trucking because of his family. He's not spending no time with his family and blah, blah, blah. All right. But if you, if, if I could recall, like I said before, you made a video earlier saying that you was done with trucking and you gave the same excuse you 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 it was for your family all right but now years later you're done with trucking because of your because of your family that, hey look that's cool but a lot of people now a lot of people a lot of subscribers is pissed off at you because they feel that you took their money and you ran off with it. The company that 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 you leased the truck from, the company that you leased the truck from, you abandoned it. Now I'm not sure what your financial situation is looking right now. I I probably can't say that your financial situation Everybody that donated to you to make sure that you was all right and to get you back up on your feet and all that good stuff, now everybody's pissed off at you, man. And I, I can probably understand why they're pissed off at you. You know, they they donated all this money to you to get you back up on your feet so you can continue to bring good content in the trucking world. But you just, you just up and quit like you did the last few jobs that you had. You know, you, you quit Warner, you quit Waven, you quit Prime, you quit Night, and you know, it's for whatever reasons that you quit. It's probably might be on your videos, you. Man, you, you 
quit trucking and you quit all of that just to just to make a video for uh, a vape a vape shop like I said you know like I said I, I don't know you know a lot of people consider this guy's fraud he's fake he's you know he's uh he stole that now instead of people that donate they now they saying that he stole the money <laughs> Oh man, back at it. Back at it, y'all. Back at it. I had to uh, take a break right quick. A uh, 15, 20 minute break. You know, went in there, went into, uh, went into uh, this little truck stop. Didn't have that many amenities, you know. I wish it was Love's, but I haven't came past one, but I'm, I'm on my way to one. I should be there shortly. Probably before I get to the one that I'm supposed to go to. But while I was in there, you know, in there doing my thing, a video popped up in my stream again. And lo and behold, who is it on the stream? I mean, that came up on my timeline. It's Mac, the little guy trucker. Now, I'm glad that he made this video and he made it so that I can put another two cents on it before I can actually upload the video that I already did, I can add this one as a sort of a bonus, as you will. He's sitting in his car, sounds like it's raining, look like he got uh, clothes and stuff in the, in the back. He's looking kind of rough, I'm talking rough. He's looking rougher than me right now. You know unshaven and all like that and he's in his car singing the blues about what happened you know with the truck and everything and why he quit now he's sitting there singing about oh I quit because of my family and you know it's the same thing that I said before you know he quit because of his family and you know he want to spend more time with the family and all like that but he's trying to explain to his subscribers and his viewers the reason why he quit. Now, there's plenty of reasons why many people quit their jobs. You know, but the way you quit is, is what he's trying to explain. Now, he been with like I said before, he, I, I did my homework with this guy. He, he been with a lot of companies. And he has quit a lot of companies. I mean, he did he did D-moves with a lot of companies. I mean, Prime, Warner, Raven, Knight. And, and I mean, he's, you know, he's trying to explain himself how he quit Travel Loco. Now, he quit Travel Local. He just up and quit. He didn't give him notice. He didn't let him know what's going on. And he just, like I said, he's he basically abandoned the truck. And he's over here crying the blues, talking about, well, you know, I only have good things to say about uh, Travel Local, and Travel Local didn't do didn't do nothing to deserve what I did. Well, of course they didn't. I mean, look at what you did, dude. I mean, you was out, you was down for about at least a month uh, when, when, when the one truck was broke down. So you started, you, you started losing money and started on and, and started being behind on the truck payments. So I, you know, like you said, I guess the guy kind of fell for you and got you another truck. And you, you only did a couple of loads, and after that, you took the truck, loaded up your family, and moved down to Florida. Now, you over here saying, a lot of people saying that I stole the truck and this, that, and the other. Uh, in actuality, you did. 
I mean, I mean, did you have a load that took you down to Florida? No. You used the truck and the trailer to move your furniture and stuff like that back down to Florida. To and then when you got to Florida, you just the left on abandoned the truck. Any two. And you're gonna try and explain that on this video, talking about, well, a lot of people think I stole the truck. Dude, you stole the truck. Not only that you stole the truck, you stole the fuel to fuel the truck. You know, it's over a thousand miles from Ohio to Florida, dude. You stole miles, you stole the truck, and you stole fuel. And you over here talking about it, you sitting in your car over here crying the blues, talking about what, uh, I, I'm going to pay him back. You, well, I'm, I'm sure you are going to pay him back unless, uh, unless Travel Local file suit on you. That's a, that's a lawsuit right there, dude. You stole the truck. You stole at least a couple of thousand dollars, dude. And then you up and abandon the truck and over here trying to make it like, oh, okay, well, I, I thought that I would just turn the truck in and nothing would happen, I Maybe guess. Half mile. Keep to the left on South 10th Street. And You're leasing. And then slide left and You should have did your homework before you started to lease. Or at least stayed with night, saved up the money, and then lease. I mean, all these trucks... In a quarter mile. Keep left at the fork. Okay, thank you. I mean, within five years, man. You've been in trucking for five years. Keep to the left on South and Street, by the looks of it right now, you, you have nothing, feet. nothing to show Keep for. left to stay on Nebraska 2 West. You have nothing to show for it. Except for taking somebody. Continue on Nebraska 2 West for one and a half miles. Slide left on Van Dorn Street. Taking somebody else's money. And I'm, I'm saying money because that's what you did. You took somebody else's money. You took somebody else's money, stole it, moved your family down to, down to Florida to go work at a vape shop. A vape shop. Really, dude? Now I'm reading your comments, man. And your commenters, you got you got some people that supporting you, and you know, I got your back. Uh, more power to you. Good that you hope that you do good. I'm not. I'm not that comment, dude. I'm. I'm telling you right now, man. You you effed up big time big time and you sitting in your car boo crying the blues about how you're going to try and fist it. I don't think you can fist it, dude. This is unfissable. This is unfissable. I mean, you're 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 you, you're going to work at a vape shop to try to pay back this type of money? And you know, my my wife, I I seen it in her eyes and she she's pretty much done with it. But you got to hey, look, man. Look. I understand this is a stressful business. This is a stressful business for families, man. I get that. But your family, you you gotta you gotta let your family know that what you're doing out here is is for the benefit of them. It's for the benefit of them. You know. Speed warning. And it's I, I understand it's it's hard. It's hard being away from your family months or years. To the right on US 70. I understand that. It's it's hard on me. In a quarter mile, the use the right lane to take the US 77 North ramp to I-80. It's hard on me to sacrifice that. In order to support my family, you know. Speed warning. Like, like.
like I said, the right man to take the US 77 North you, ramp. But you, man, I'm telling you, Matt, what, what you try, the, the BS that you're trying to sell Continue right now. Continue on US 77 North for two miles. The BS that you're trying to sell right now, nobody's buying, dude. Nobody's buying. I mean, you, you stole, I mean, to summarize before I finish. You stole the truck to move your family. You BS your subscribers to, to donate Continue to Continue on this road for 297 miles. You BS your your uh your subscribers to to donate to you. You and 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 you you've been in the business for about five years with nothing to show for it. And you quit the trucking industry just to go work in a two cent vape shop? Really? And you trying to and, and you trying to explain it all. I I got you, bro. Good luck, bro. Hey, that's it. Lockout man. Out. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Let them know who the fuck I am. If you're over your head, you won't understand. I got another plan. If all else fails, prevail. I'm gone, but I'm sticking in the cut, never signing off. Little bit of fame in the finest broads. You hypnotize, now you live in a lie. Selling your soul for the enterprise. I'm finna blow like a lamb. I slow. Holy haters all strangers now that y'all know me OG smoking on that strong contemplating suicide over lies they told me lonely